Hi, welcome back to the Blind LP of Ace Attorney Investigations 2 Prosecutor's Path. We are now back here with our guy Dogen. And uh, in the last episode, we discovered that um, Knightley was actually Isaac Dover's son, but since he's dead, he cannot be the mastermind. So, Gustavia's son? Which we don't know whom we don't know who it is yet. So, I'm not sure. So I think we'll find out And I was told that um, I'm going to end this soon Maybe we'll see how it goes So we are near the end and I'm excited Alright, so let's continue Now, alright So recently that has all come to an abrupt halt What are we at right now? Should, we, sh should I just press that? Okay, let's see it came to a halt, now of all times. Why not, is not is it not? Anubis told me again and again how odd he was. That scary dog talked? Was he like, something's odd, woof. <laughs> I can understand Anubis' heart, even if he does not voice his thoughts. And then, there's something I'd like to ask just in case. Your scary dog scared staring at me right now. He's not saying, I'm hungry, I want some meat, right? <laughs> perhaps. <laughs> but perhaps. Uh, Miss Hwolf. Seems she's not much good with the assassin's dog. Good boy, good boy, that's a good boy. So then, at any rate, my correspondence with the acolyte suddenly came to an abrupt halt. Oh yeah, because he's dead. Furthermore, those involved in the crime 12 years ago were all drawn into incidents one by one. Okay, let's see. That certainly does seem too much of, for a mere coincidence. The body double of Di Chun Huang, the president of Zheng Fa, faked an assass assassination plot. Patricia Rowland, the priest prison warden murdered Horace Knightley and Blaise the Best, the chairman of the PIC murdered Jill Crane. Lots of murders here. Come to think of it as I have been investigating these cases, I have felt the presence of some force behind the scenes. <laughs> Even with the prison, I could tell this was no insignificant event. Okay. Alright. You absconded f briefly from prison. I cannot forgive such a criminal act. I mean, well, he's an assassin anyway. He, I mean, he can't go worse than murdering people. You stole your way out of prison? I cannot forgive such a stiff thieving act. <laughs> Relax, no one was hurt. I merely have connections that allow me to set foot outside. But even so, you can't just escape from prison, pal. Arrest him. Arrest him. That would be necessary. Once my business is done, I shall return to my cell. You're trying to make fools of us. A prison isn't the kind of place you can just enter and live at will. <laughs> the wolf may say that. But one can see that the wolf and his pack also share an interest in the tales of my past. Agent Lang. Detective Gamshu, there are still a few things I must ask Dogen. Please postpone matters until then. Yes, so I knew you'd say that, Mr. Ichuf. Okay, so writing letters in Braille can be read. Why? Why are you mentioning this? Excuse me, but you wrote your letters in Braille because he's lying. Indeed. For I possess the tools necessary to write in Braille. Oh! Oh, uh, chisel? He had chisel. He had a chisel, right? Wow! So you need to use tools to write in Braille? I never knew. Then, would you please tell us what you wrote? Everything. Letters, of course. And also the movements of the chess pieces. He wrote the movements of the chess pieces by hand. That statement is intriguing. So then, how does your handmade dog piece move? Okay, that question can wait. So then, what did you do when the letters stopped coming? 
<laughs> Within the prison, I grew increasingly concerned about the cat acolyte's whereabouts. Okay, okay, um, but even so, I don't really get it. Who exactly is this acolyte? Indeed, Dogen himself has not yet made that clear. I thought, Nightly? What's important is the thread connecting Dogen and this acolyte, their correspondence. And not just the letters, we should pay attention to the means that was used as well. You mean I have not pressed everything? Are you serious? Let me check. Give me one quick moment. Yeah, I have not pressed this apparently. That was your means of playing cor- Oops! Oops! Correspondence chess. Kehehe! <laughs> As expected, the good prosecutor has done a thorough investigation. His chess opened and it was Horace Knightley, right? The ring Knightley wore. Mr. Shields, please have a close look at it. Yeah, there's no mistake. This is the evidence from the IS-7 incident. The police found Mr. Dover's son and returned it to him. If you're saying that the son was Knightley, then... Decolite, who was Dogen's chess opening and the mastermind was Knightley? Yeah. No, Knightley had... Wait! Dogen is, has been playing chess with someone else? But Knightley was playing chess. I don't get it. No, Knightley, someone has been playing chess in the state of... I do Oh no! No, Knightley has already been murdered. He cannot be at the center of the incident. Who? Who brought the chessboard to Knightley? Who brought the chessboard to Knightley? Somebody brought it. Oh, no, I'm no, no, I'm gonna move on. Let's move on first. No, no, don't assume things too fast. Oh. Okay, go. There is no doubt that the mastermind is still no, no, get it out of my head, man, mine, mine. There is no doubt that the mastermind is still hiding somewhere out there. Well, then, Mr. Dogen, sorry to have kept you waiting. Hmm, that was a rather interesting tale, wasn't it, Anubis? Oh no, it's oh nothing, nothing is oh. It's it's like I'd have a theory, but it doesn't make sense. It's like things are not adding up properly. Oh god, okay. Let's just go. I shall continue my story about the Agalite. A long-standing chess match continued. Do I have to present something? Should I present? Sent from Dogen to a nightly. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Let's see what HOF has to say again. What's important is the threat connecting Dogen and this acolyte. Their correspondence. And not just the letters. We should pay attention to the means that was used as well. I'm sorry. My brain is not working. We should pay attention to the means that was used as well. Pay attention to the means that was used. The means. The means. The means. Oh. Should I? Should I just present that? Okay, should I just present it? Ah, uh, shall I go for it? Objection. Whoa! I'm right. Okay, I'm certain you said you wrote your letters in Braille. Correct. The good prosecutor must know that I am lacking in sight. Do you not? The correspondence chess letter we found had been typed out using a word processor. What? Well, I mean, not everybody can read Braille. Maybe somebody translated for him? Which would be... What do you mean? So someone went out of their way to retype their letters on a computer? 
could another person have acted as a middleman between Dogen and Knightley? Yeah, that's the thing. What do you mean? Dogen wrote his letters in Braille, however. By the time it reached Knightley, it had been rewritten on a word processor. We must assume that some middleman rewrote those letters. And the reverse can also be saved. That same, so that same somebody might have taken the letters Knightley wrote and re-delivered them to Dogen. Is that a translator of sorts? Yes, that is indeed true. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm glad I was right. Knightley and Dogen both communicated through a certain individual. Dogen were the letters that reached you. They were in Braille, of course. So Knightley boys, letters must have been transposed by that same person as well. Oh, then that somebody must be the mastermind behind this case. You're saying there's someone else who's the mastermind behind this case? Then who is it? Dover's son, Knightley, is already deceased. So Gustavia's son. In that case, there is one more youth that we should consider to be the mastermind. You mean, Dane Gustavia's son? But who is he? Well, if Knightley is Dover's son, then Gustavia's son must be... It's possible, isn't it? Yeah, yeah my brain is getting something. It's him. It's him. Wait. Right? It's him. I think so. He was the same as me. We never had real families. It can't be. Could it? Could it really be him? Mr. H, what, was, what is it? You've gone pale. I figured it out. Yeah, we're on the same wavelength. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. The identity of the mastermind who's been controlling this case from the shadows. What? Who in the world is it? Oh boy. Right? Is his name in here? Has he been mentioned? Wow, my memory is pretty strange. <laughs> How could I remember such a thing? I don't know. How do I remember that? Oh, how do I remember he he sent the chessboard, didn't he? Right, right. He sent the chessboard, right? Am I wrong? I'm right, right? Okay. What? Who in the world is it? I don't want to believe it myself, but it is someone we know quite well. Oh boy! We'll find out in a while. <laughs> right. I'm right, right. I'm right, aren't, aren't I? The mastermind behind this case sent a letter to Jill Crane. Why? Why? Why would you do that? Why are you doing it? Why? I don't get it. I don't. Nothing is adding up. I thought... Oh, nothing is adding up. I don't understand why. Oh, my brain is confused. Furthermore, he kidnapped John and is eavesdropped on us. However, all of his actions... The one I have... Out oh, wait, hang on. The one I have not been able to get out of my mind. What he did to Kay, right? Why? Oh, okay. It's how he brought an unconscious key to the roof. The giant monster. What? Huh? Did you just say something? That's right. The key to exposing the master mind. Is in the monster's true form. What are you talking about? I almost forgot! 
Um, if you'd like, please come to our next show. I'll also be performing in it. The Berry Big Circus is always fabulous and fun for all ages. Miss Swift, if there is something I would like to ask of you. Oh, you're still around? <laughs> what? You mean me? You said that you recorded the sound of Mozilla's pewing flames. Would this decisive evidence of yours be something you recorded on that tape recorder? That's Miss Edgeworth for you. You're good at figuring things out, aren't you? It's the sound of Mozilla spewing out fire. This place nearly became a sea of flames. That's right. I ain't actually seen it with my own eyes, though. Could you let us listen to the tape? Sure thing. There we go. This sound is as I talk. Okay, we are not on the same page anymore, each worth, I don't know. So it seems that my reasoning was correct. No, I don't know. The true nature of the monster. Um, no, no. All of my logic is coming together. No. Miss Hart, you said that you captured a giant eye on film, did you not? Sure did, right here in the f in this photo. Where? Though we cannot confirm it like this. Detective Gamshu. Yes, sir. Then us your film analysis device. Okay, but what do you want to analyze, sir? This photo, please. I'm on it. Uh oh. Is there a new clue in this photo? Are you kidding me? I don't see. I don't see anything. Okay, shall we zoom in? Should we zoom in? Um, am I supposed to compare? What's that? What is that? Somebody tell me what's that? Oh no! I don't know! Do I just present that? Oh, oh here goes nothing. This is... See? Ain't the Muzzlers. Okay, I guess I shouldn't... I shouldn't be like thinking too hard about it. About it. Ain't the Muzzlers eye right where I said it would be. Huh. I see. I have finally grasped. The true form of the giant monster that was being controlled by the mastermind. Giant monster? Are you admitting to it? You are, ain't you? You are admitting that the mighty Mozilla is real. Thank you. No, this is not Mozilla. This is the eye of a different monster. Sorry? What? Please have a look at this. Oh, the lion? It's a cape. It's a flyer for the very big circus. Oh, this is... Precisely. There is a rather large balloon with the head of a lion pictured here. Oh... This balloon is a true identity of the giant monster. Whoa, that went over my head. In addition, the sound Miss Swift recorded, which she believes to be Mozilla spewing flames. Also, is the sound of. Mr. Presicator, don't tell me you're gonna say something that will shatter my dreams of a scoop. How do balloons fly by using burners to heat the air, right sir? I see. Precisely, detective. The mastermind used this monster of his to bring Kay to the rooftop of the Grand Tower without using the elevator. Whoa, so dangerous. But wouldn't... I mean, wouldn't it stand up? Wouldn't that mean that the mastermind is someone connected to the circus? He is a member of the circus, Magli's friend and Dane Gustavia's son. Who'd have thunk it? An apprentice beast tamer. Hm. 
is no image. Simon, Simon, Simon Kiss, Simon Kiss. I see. So you are guest TV's son. For the beast he has teamed in is none other than this entire kiss. Simon Kiss. He is the mastermind behind this whole incident. Mr. Keys was really behind it all? No way. I don't believe it. I mean, we trusted him. And he knocked you out. He knocked you out and he framed you for murder. That's something you need to remember. I believe. How could it all have been a lie? That's just heartbreaking. Okay. What is it? Hey, you, stop. Where do you think you're going? Why are you stopping? <laughs> the boy who haunts is rather perceptive. The good prosecutor has done a remarkable job. Now that I have a dad, I have no further business here. I'm sorry? What? Wait, Dogen. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, chill. So I'm gonna get the dog off him. Where did he vanish to? Mr. Ishwab, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. However... That guy! John? That Dogen guy. He's the one who killed my dad, right? Yes. There is no question more difficult to answer, however... There is no use in denying the truth. Yes, John. You are correct. He'll pay for this. I swear he's gonna pay! You, you, no. No. No, stop. I'll, I'll make me him pay my... S Thank you. John, you mustn't finish that talk. Prosecutor Adra, please pay us no mind. So, I've put out an APB on Dogen. All available police units will be searching for him. Good luck to you. You heard the man, kid. I don't mean to be heartless, but we need to hurry too. So, Mr. Prosecutor, where's the mastermind right now? Agent Lang is right. Our top priority right now should be catching the mastermind. He said he would be practicing. He is most likely at the very big circus tent. But first, Agent Lang, I have a request. A request? What is it? Now that we've identified the giant monster, our next order of business is to capture it. The moment we arrive at the tent, I need you to locate that specific item post haste. And detective, I ask that she perform a follow-up investigation on the kidnapping incident. Ready that soon. Miss Hrf, I want to help out too. Hmm. In that case, you'll be in charge of calling for backup. If he tr is truly the mastermind, we may require assistance from a certain someone. Sorry? I met him so many times, yet his facade always fooled me into a sympathy. He may have got the better of me in the past, but this time I'll settle it once and for all. I'm sorry, who are you talking about? Is he talking about Simon Keys? Let's continue. April 6. 5.30 p.m. Very big circus storage tent. Oh my god. I think this circus needs to shut down. Ah, <sighs> oh, Mr. Ishworth! I think I used the wrong voice. Are you guys here for the show? Mr. Keys, Miss Barry. Here a little early. I'm sorry, but we're still getting ready. But I'm so happy you came. You remembered our promise. Yes, I remembered. You asked us to come and see the show when you gave me this. I'm so happy you came. Please, enjoy yourselves. I'm sure my performance will surprise you, Mr. Ejof. Your performance has already surprised me. Exactly my thought, Mr. Kiss. Um, but he hasn't performed yet. Regina, please have a look at this photo. Is this balloon the property of the Berry Big Circus? Ah, 
It is, it is. Did you see it flying around somewhere? It's highly likely that this balloon was used by the culprit in the case we are investigating. Huh? Who is in charge of the balloon? Well, the dead would be si Simon, but... Are you saying... Mr. Keys, you flew this balloon in the middle of the night, did you not? I do occasionally practice alone at night. I'm not much of a pilot though. I'm a little clumsy. So for practice, you'll do something as challenging as flying a balloon at night. Wouldn't that be rather difficult for someone who is clumsy and not much of a pilot? Then, what do you think I was doing, Mr. Ichra? You brought Kay to the roof of the Grand Tower. In order to frame her for the murder of Jill Crane. Not a single security ca But why would he do that for... The best? Why would he do that? Hmm. Therefore, the only way she could have gotten up there was through flight. And the only one who could have flown her up there was you, Mr. Keys. There are things that still don't make sense to me. Is it just me? What what am I not getting? What am I not getting? No way, Mr. Ajuf. How could you say that? That's not all. You dropped John at the garbage pickup and kidnapped him. Wasn't that why you were late when you came to watch the trial of Patricia Rowland? No way! I had no idea what you were saying! There's no way I could do things like that! Please believe me! Mr. Ajo, please! I wanted to believe you. However, you have broken that trust yourself. This is horrible! Why would you say that? Did you want to say that you would trust me? Do you believe in me? Don't you worry about that, where are your allies? That's because we're like birds of a feather, right Mr. Atroff? Birds of a feather, huh? I suppose that's true. We have sufficient information about your past. I doubt you had a motive to kill Knightley. Rather, you are probably the most affected by his death. And I doubt someone as timid as you could work up the courage to murder someone. You did say that. Alright, I'll get you out of here. We'll believe in you. I'm so sad. Those words were all lies. It wasn't a lie. We really did trust you. Can you even you? You said we were like birds of a feather and yet... I'm hurt, Kay. You've hurt me deeply. I... Well... They say he drove. Maybe Simon isn't a bad guy after all. I see. So that's how you operate. I understand now. All too well. No matter who you face, you find an emotional weakness and exploit it. You get each person towards the outcome you desire without them even noticing it. That is how you are able to mastermind the entire case. I may have fallen for your tricks before, but not this time. Simon Keys, I indict you. So it has come to this after all. You're always so full of confidence, Miss Ajoff. But I rather like that. Because now, I can rip that confidence to shreds. Bring it on. Okay. Here we go, here we go. Oh, moon! You look better that way. I like it. I like the look. <laughs> good, uh, good work, everyone. His personality personality has completely changed. So, the animal tamer who could not tame animals, that was all a facade. <laughs> this is a ri real Simon kiss. Simon, that's not true, is it? Truth or lie? What difference does it make? Mr. H has just made me a little upset, that's all. <laughs> hey, you look 
good luck there. You take responsibility for upsetting me, right? I have no idea what advice to give him. It's true. I practiced with the balloon two nights ago. That photo must have been taken when the balloon and I passed near the building. I often fly around that area for advertising purposes. There's nothing unusual about that, right? Well, I don't like that face. You often fly around the Grand Tower in a balloon. Yeah, even, even the circus needs to advertise. Regina, is that true? Yep, it was Simon's job to advertise using the balloon. Most people who live around, he should have seen it. I see. That's why it was all right. Okay, that's why nobody mentioned anything about it before, I guess, because they're used to it. That balloon was used in the crime we are investigating. Like I said, it's just a coincidence. I simply happened to pass by the Grand Tower when that photo was taken. I shall determine whether or not it was a coincidence after I hear your full story. Practice with the balloon two nights ago. Let's hear that. Was a balloon launched from this tent? There's a nice big park near the Sunshine Coliseum. I always launch the block balloon there. I see, and in that case, how do you transport the balloon to the park? Well, it's too heavy to carry by hand. It weighs several hundred pounds, and yet it can fly in the sky. Amazing, isn't it? I asked you how you transported it, now answer the question. Oh, I can't even make sm some small talk. You mean it, Mr. Ishworth? I use a truck. The balloon is loaded onto the back of the truck. A truck? Yeah, the last time I took a dirt truck and the balloon out was two days ago. I cannot overlook that piece of testimony. Really? The last time he took the truck and the balloon out was two days ago. Let's press that. Allow me to confirm, you haven't driven the truck since then. You really need to confirm that. I mean, I just said it five seconds ago. Answer the question, or would it be inconvenient for you to do so? <laughs> That's a pretty weak provocation coming from you, Mr. Edgeworth. What could be inconvenient about something I've already said? Fine, I get it. The truck has been parked behind the dressing room since two days ago, and the balloon and the basket are still inside. Is that a problem? There's no problem. I simply wanted to express my thanks for that piece of testimony. So the truck was parked here for the past two days. Hmm, <laughs> that was exactly what I wanted to hear, Mr. Keys. May I continue? So then, regarding the balloon. Hang on, let me check something. Two days ago, okay. Photo must have been taken. We'll get back to that in a while, okay? Let's just see what we have first. You're saying it was simply a coincidence that you were photographed near the tower. Ah, I get it. I know how you operate now, Mr. Isha. You insist that a coincidence is impossible until you get your way. When you say it like that, everything will inevitably go your way. Oh, that's ugly. That's an ugly sprite. You're wrong. Mr. Isha isn't like that. Okay, calm down. He's only trying to provoke an emotional response. He intends to go us into losing our focus in order to derail the topic at hand. Now, why do you think he would do that? Um, because he's a clown? No, I mean because he's trying to hide something, I guess. Exactly, Kay. We must not let up on him. However, we must continue to keep our composure, understand? Yep. So, Simon, allow me as an assistant to ask you a question. When you passed by the Grand Tower at that precise moment, was it really just a coincidence? We could have just left things at that. But, for the sake of your assistant, I shall explain my reason for being there. Okay. 
So in addition to advertising with the balloon, maintaining the balloon is also your job. Am I wrong? You're a real stickler for other details, you know. Eh, yeah, that's right. As a boss if you want. Right, boss? Yep, Simon's in charge of cleaning and fixing and all that stuff with the balloon. I don't think anyone besides Simon has used the balloon for a while now. Right, of course. Hmm. Dad confirms he was the one riding the balloon in the photo taken two days ago. However, if he's the mastermind, he must have used it today as well. Am I able to prove that? It's like you're deep in thought. Is it really that hard to comprehend? Hot air balloons fly in the sky, and in other news, the sky is blue and the grass is green. Wow. Fine. Fine. Let's see whether we have something here. Um, present. Alright, we need... A shark. We need a shark. Parked in front of the Grand Tower today. The driver wasn't inside. Ha ha. This? Objection. Yeah, here we go. The truck you put the balloon into. Was it blue by any chance? Blue? So what if it is? Today, we saw a blue, a blue truck carrying a large basket. If that truck just so happened to be yours, then your claim that you, you, that you last used it two days ago becomes a lie. Uh-oh. Oh, here we go. Oh. Emma. Emma? Emma, did I see you at all? In this series? I don't recall. Were you here? No, wait, you were. Yes, yes. Right? Yeah. Mr. H12, I finally found you. I've been searching for you ever since the incident yesterday. I dashed right over after Key contacted me just a little while ago. Prosecutor, Prosecutor H12, the thing you were looking for, I found it. It was placed in a blue prep truck at the dressing room parking lot. Okay, so what does this that what does that tell us? A blue truck. As I suspected. That truck is without a doubt the one I saw today. Tell them of blue trucks out there, you know? Who's to say you're not mistaking it for a different one? It's definitely that one, I got a good look at it. Mr. Itro, who was that? It wasn't me. Okay. Words have no strength without evidence to back them up. I see. Ah, that's Mr. Itro's voice. Evidence present evidence. Do I have any evidence? To prove that this was the truck I saw today. Huh? What's wrong, Mr. Ijuf? What are you... Aha! So you touched it. Okay, good. Why are you touching the truck? The truck's body is cold to the touch. It seems to have been parked here for some time. You can figure all that out, but just by touching it... What could prove that this is the truck I saw? My fingerprints! I'd like to dust the truck for fingerprints. Hey! Fingerprints? What for? I don't see any point in that. A certain person's fingerprints should be left on this truck. And these fingerprints will prove that this truck was parked in front of the Grand Tower today. Those fingerprints prove this truck was parked the tower. Miles. Miss Edgeworth, your fingerprints. Indeed, earlier today I touched a truck at the plaza in front of the Grand Tower. I'd like to dust for my prints. Emma, might I request a scientific investigation? Here we go, Emma. That's what I am here for. Just leave it to me. Alright, we are all set. Go ahead, Mr. Hwoof. Wait, you want me to do it? Uh-oh. Can I? Uh-oh. Of course, who else but Mr. Hwoof would be up to the task? Here, I'll show you how it's done. 
Uh oh. Um, alright then. You're the scientist, why don't you just do it yourself? First, we sprinkle some aluminum powder over the area you want to investigate. Like this. Touch the screen to sprinkle the aluminum powder. The powder will adhere to the fingerprint, so once you've sprinkled enough, you blow it away. Blow it away. <gasps> oh boy. I'm not sure I can do this. Yeah, just blow on it with your breath. Whoosh! I'm dead. Blow the powder away by blowing into the microphone. Got it? Yes, I think so. I guess we'll have to do it for real this time. Just so you know, the key point is to sprinkle the powder all over. Oh boy. Okay. Let's see whether I can do things with it. Can I even blow it? Would it hurt? Would it hurt your ears if I blow into the mic? Would it work? We'll see. Let's try. No, it doesn't work. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy, I'm stuck. Okay, let's see whether this works. I hope it works. Give me one moment. Let me make sure everything's working. Okay, let's uh, let's do this. I hope it works. Please work. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Wow, that was difficult. <laughs> let's let's run the prince against mine post haste. All right, just leave it to me. Give me one moment. Okay. These are definitely your fingerprints, Mr. Edgeworth. Well, it seems to me that we have just proven your statement to be a lie. Ooh. What were you doing when you did when we when you were driving this truck around? Just talk taking it for a joyride. K K was abduct abducted two nights ago. Your balloon was sighted not far from the scene. Today, there was another kidnapping in which a garbage truck was used. And once again, your truck was seen nearby. Objection. This all sounds not like nothing more than a pure coincidence to me. So it was pure coincidence that you parked near two separate kidnappings, I doubt that. You were, invo invo you, oh. you were involved in both kidnappings, weren't you? It's a little bit rash to automatically assume that the two kidnappings were connected. And what if I had evidence to prove that the two crimes were performed by the same culprit? What is your evidence, Ichworth? Can you discuss with me beforehand? Oh, you're serious? I can't wait to hear this. What did Kay and John's kidnappings have in common? I'm not sure. Blaze the best? Muzilla? No. Muzilla. Hang on. What did the keys have in common? The child's drawing, the blood stain button. Nicole's tape recorder, what does it say? Okay, no. Um, nightly, no. Bug. Bug, bug, no. Shelf years ago. Sh things that happened 12 years ago. It's about things that happened 12 years ago. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Used on K and John. Okay, this is the one. Nope, yep. K was knocked out with a powerful sleeping drug, and a bottle of sleeping drugs was found lying in the place where John was confined. The contents of the bottle were a match with the drugs on, used on K. So that's all you've got, huh? And here I was, getting my hopes up. So the same sleeping drugs was used, so what? You think that connects the two incidents? 
Surely you must realize you it yourself. That doesn't prove a thing. D there must be something. Evidence that proves he is connected to those cases. The police, the prosecutors, and even you, Mr. Ichwell, and you're all the same. You make up evidence as you see fit. Just so you can send some poor soul to prison. Isn't there someone like that here? A poor soul who was wrongly accused in the past. Is there? Objection! Me? You're wrong. Who who would do Objection! such a thing? Then show me the evidence. If you're gonna accuse me of a crime, it's only natural. It's no use. I can't seem to find any other threats linking him to the kidnappings. Um, is it is that right? No, then have you finally run out of ammo, Mister Edgeworth? I still have preparations to make at the circus, so if you'll excuse me. Oh hey! Now, now, you two, no need to get so heated. And Simon, you're looking good in a clown makeup. Hey, hey, what's your deal? Don't just butt in like that. Uncle Ray is not so good in such a stiff environment. I mean, why so serious, right? Hey, Gay, how about a little trick? At last, my moment has arrived. The Great K Faraday presents a Simon impression. I have an objection. Did he say that before? Why you? Enough already. Psst, hey, Mouse, I'm buying you some time to get all your ducks in a row. That's probably a better way to solve our time than this, but what ifs? Yee, nice one, Kay. I'm not so sure about this method either. But I have to find something that connects Simon to the case. And I need it to find it now. Is there evidence not related to the kidnapping that's connected to the mastermind's identity? Evidence not related to the kidnapping that's connected to the mastermind's identity. As Gustavia's son, but not related to the kidnapping. Wow, that's weird. Let's see. No, what's it? Dogen? To it, the mastermind is the same person as the young acolyte Dogen was looking for. If I can just connect the young acolyte to Simon. Oh my god, no! No, my brain's not working, no! Connect him to Simon. Connect the acolyte to Simon. Which piece of evidence could be connected with the mastermind's true identity? Which is Gustavia's son. What did Gustavia's son get? What did Gustavia's son get? Taken yesterday, Muzzler's head, Muzzler doll. No, Lotus Testimony, no. Blue truck, no. No, no. A drawing by the child who started the fire 12 years ago, depicting the night of this incident. Um, but I'm not seeing anything here. The rabbit is disturbing me, but did Simon Keys have any rabbit? I don't recall. But it's disturbing. Is it the only thing? What if I do it? Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I guess not. I mean... Oh man... Leave it to me. If you hold it like this, and I'm oh, fine. Too bad! Epic fail, Mr. Ageworth. Right. Something. I have to find something. It simply must exist. Evidence that shows the mastermind is connected to those involved in this case. You are connected to those involved in this case. 
something that shows that Simon is connected. Alright people, I have no idea. I have no idea. I really have no idea. Um, uh, Let's try this. Seriously? Why? Nightly and Dogen both communicated. What? Am I overthinking things again? Nagli and Dogen both communicated through a certain individual. I was overthinking things. Oh, uh, then M, somebody must be. The mastermind behind the case. That's it. The mastermind played a role in the correspondence checks. If I can prove that it was Simon, then... That's enough. I can't stomach any more of your sorry excuse for her performance. If you have no more objections, then I ask that you let me get back to preparing for the show. Thank you for the help, Mr. Shields. Though you may have taken it a little too far. You sure look happy. I take it you found something. Look at me, I'm the moon. The moon is clown. The funny, funny clown. Okay, you can stop now. Now then, Mr. Keys, do you happen to like chess? Heh, <laughs> that was rather out of the blue. But since you asked, I can't say that I dislike chess. The mastermind played correspondence chess with Sir Han Dugan. If I recall, it was Knightley who had been playing chess with Dugan, wasn't it? By saying that he was a mastermind. There was no way Knightley could have been a mastermind. The reason being, the mastermind had continued to work behind the scenes even after Knightley's death. That being the case, who could have written this letter? I believe someone acted as the middleman between Dogen and Ugly. So you're saying that you think I'm the middleman? And just why would I have to go through all that trouble and do something like that? Most likely to make it appear as if there was a connection between Knightley and Dogen. And as a result, Knightley was killed by Patricia Rowland. No way! I think they was all set up so that he would be killed by her! Why though? What are you saying? There's no way I could manipulate a person that far. Could manipulate animals though. Look at me! It takes a while just to get animals to perform tricks! We will need just a scrap of the letters the exchange with Nagli still remain. It would be decisive evidence. I'd like to investigate your room. There could be decisive... If it's the letters you, you're looking for, you won't find any in there. What? I'm the type of guy who throws his letters away as soon as he's done reading them. There's a point living in the past. Does that mean he's already gotten rid of the evidence? We don't know. He could be lying. Mr. Ashworth, everything you have said so far has been nothing more than baseless conjecture. The evidence... I'm just one step behind it. What should I do? Am I all out of moves? Well, we'll find out whether you're all out of moves in the next episode. So until then, of course you're not. But anyway, until then, thank you for watching. And until the next time, goodbye.